Live now. Hey, everybody. What's going on? I think Alex oh, there's is a going gnat. insane. There's a gnat. <laughs> there's, no, there's a moth. There's a moth. I have oh, to kill it. Of we can't stream here. This is bad control. Okay. It's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Torchbearer, the Sunless Citadel. I believe this is episode six. Uh, last session, where we finally uh, or basically wrapped up our entire very first town phase. Uh, there are some some obstacles left to uh, to deal uh, that needs to be dealt with, um, but also in the interim, there were a couple of changes that we had to have uh, gone ahead and do. Um, first and foremost, um, do we want? How about while I find that? How about let's go around and introduce each other and give everyone a little refresher who everyone is. So I'm, I am Eric. I'm Eric Volgaris on the internet, and I am the game master for this Torchbearer game. I'm responsible for playing the world and trying to be. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to be more lethal. I don't know. We'll see. I'm a, I'm a conflicted god. So the best the best gods are like it, it lends them it lends them relatability. Otherwise, you know, like we can't we can't we can't connect with perfection. It's just it's just like an abstract concept that we can't deal with. Hi, I'm Alex. Yeah. Um, better known or perhaps worse known as Fake underscore Alex underscore Blue on Twitch and Twitter. And I am playing Grice Last Light, the increasingly zealous and mm, borderline psychotic cleric um, of the perennial church of the world tree. Yes, awesome. Uh, you are a zealot now, right? Yep. You have that Officially, yeah, officially it's my trait. I'm touched by the gods and a zealot. Just like double, double whammy of religious... Um, further i suppose yes. cool all right uh all right paulo hi everyone i am barona gamer known hardly by anybody on internet as barona gamer on twitch twitter youtube and uh i am playing deckhart the film noir dwarven adventurer who's become increasingly grumpy and increasingly shall we say slightly insane to the point of last session hammering out an armor made pretty much purely on frustration hate and uh sadness and uh, he is absolutely looking forward to trying to get people not killed hopefully yeah that's i think that's pretty much all everything that's like any what anyone could ever hope for right just not dying would be pretty good thing on the agenda in here insanity hedged in just before the point of ins just murder yeah precisely perfect cool cool okay uh let's let's keep going around the horn here um martin what's up uh hi uh, yeah uh i'm uh, i'm marindel i uh play uh Arendelle, the um, i was gonna say half of ranger but actually this is just an elf ranger um you um I think uh, Arendelle uh, feels like he's uh, he's sort of protective of his party members, being the oldest of the party. And uh, Arendelle, having finally acquired his his long desired bow, is um, really eager to get back to the citadel and find, well, what remains of the adventures. At least get some rings this time. Yeah. If um, we don't talk about the rings. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see about that. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Cool. And Alain? Hi, I'm uh, Jexus. Jexus Alain. Jexus1985, because I'm an idiot and I can't do one name on different... <laughs> you can't spell Jesus? <laughs> I don't know what branding <laughs> is! How do I brand? <laughs> I uh, I play Gilly, the halfling burglar, um, who's getting increasingly fed up with this world, this town, and these adventurers. <laughs> he just wants to get the job done and cook some stuff. Yes. Not necessarily in that order. Doesn't matter. Cook stuff and then get the job done. That's fine as well. Perfect. Okay. So and and I found what I was looking for. Uh, so from last session, uh, we had a little bit of the experience and things to dole out, and which we didn't do. Um, the MVP for the session was Gilly um, for making a lot of these like hard transactions in town. Um, team worker was Grice because uh, he gave totally gave up the the poultice and everything to help pay the bills. Uh, basically, ultimately helping Gilly buy the rations that we're going to need today. Um, embodiment was Deckhart for his armor. Um, his, his strutting down and, and everything like that. It was awesome. Um, and then I think 
Grice had one more spell. And what was that spell? Yeah, that's right. I Because we leveled up. up. I leveled up, and that means for a cleric that you get... Um, you get your f access to your first first circle spell, and the spell that I picked um, in the rules it's it's called uh, Malison of the Lords of Terror, and I have renamed it. I think um, I don't know what I've renamed it to. I've Malediction it of the Under Tree. Malediction of the Other Tree. Oh. Malediction of the Under Tree. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Um, because I, I kind of felt like that was appropriate for how how Grice re recovered from his sickness. Um, he had these visions of the Undertree, and um, they shook him. But maybe he took some power from that. Like, I don't mm. know. That'd yeah. Interesting, anyway. I like that. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So that, that basically goes over uh, what happened last session and kind of who we are. Do we have any updates regarding uh, Believes Instinct's goals that we that we want to make right now before we start? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's just go in the same order again. So back to Alex. What's the... Uh... All right. Uh, Grice's belief, instinct, and goal have not changed. I'll repeat them anyway. Uh, Grice's belief is, one may be fearless and focused, but only by working together do we become formidable. His goal is... Redwood, 9, 10. The world tree takes our sin and bleeds our wounds. That with strength we may prosper, even under darkest shadow. I will ensure none of our party return below ground, sick, injured, or afraid. And his instinct is blight, injury, and, and you are sacrilegious to the world tree. I will treat all sickness and heal all wounds that these heathens can see the power of the divine. Nice. Perfect. All right. Byronic. Okay. Um, my belief and instincts are still the same, but I'll repeat them as well. Um, my belief is my party members don't have what it takes to complete this mission. It's up to me and Grice to drag them through it. Um, my goal has changed, however. Um, he now believes that town is a source of disgust and disappointment. I am geared up, fired up, and messed up. It's time to move back into the dungeon so that I can baptize this armor of mine in blood. And, uh, the final one is the instinct. The dark corners are filled with hidden dangers. Always check the dark corners for an ambush while adventuring. Check your corners, yes. Oh, yes. Cool. What about Arendelle? My new belief is the end justifies the means. Let's rescue those adventurers, or at least get their rings. Hey, we made it this far. It's time for some optimism. Oh, my God. new goal is, now I have my new bow, I should try shooting something. Um, and my instinct has slightly been updated into I am always in front protecting my friendly party members when in a fight. All right. Um, you may want to adjust your goal. Fine, friendly. Yes. Do we Shooting your bow. Between friendly and unfriendly party members. <laughs> that... Yeah. <laughs> well, friend, if, it wasn't necessarily meant as um, that I find others unfriendly. It's just, you know, a general, you know, my friendly party members. Yeah, um, but um, I, I mean, I have a, I have a flag about. about goal? I have a flag about your goal. That mm -hmm. um, I should try shooting something. I feel like might be a little bit um uh, not goal enough. That would be like I'm going to light a torch, right? Right. Um, maybe you could be like I will demonstrate um my usefulness with a bow for the group or something yeah. like that right so like that would be like if you pulled off a good maneuver or whatever in a conflict uh I, which i think is what you're going for for that but technically you could just be like and i shoot my bow and be like ding got my goal <laughs> like you know like well, it, well, yeah, no, no. right like yeah, it has to be towards that, something i know it was i know it, i know you didn't mean it uh and that's why i just brought it up because i was like i wanted to work with you to come up with something like that but like yeah now i have my I would demonstrate bow. to I myself demonstrate why i really needed one 
or or why elves are the masters of combat i will use this effectively and something you know something like that right like yeah. okay. depending yeah, on yeah. whatever derives you and yeah, yeah right yeah totally okay not a racial but, uh, thing but like elves are totally the best archers okay just, just a fact it's, it's genetic <laughs> yeah it's quite literally yeah genetic Something about Is that being, a comment uh, about short men can't fire bows? Because dwarves aren't aren't happy about this. No. Also, you know, just no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gilly's belief is that no task is too daunting for a dapper halfling like my like myself. Uh, his goal is uh, fuck this town. It's been nothing but dumb people, ignorant shopkeepers, and asshole debt collectors. I will leave this place uninjured and ready to fight. <laughs> and his instinct is when making camp. Cheer up my fellow adventurers by cooking a hearty meal. Okay. Um, so now that we got all that squared away and settled, um, what are where are we at with conditions? How's everybody doing right now? Anybody Zero actually feet. fresh? I'm, I'm completely done. I'm not fresh, but I'm without uh, condition. Yeah. Aaron Dell, you're, you're still injured? Angry and injured. Oh. You're still injured? <laughs> Tons, That's going to be rough. <laughs> That's okay. More we have to so work on death that. is still on the line for you That's... every single time. Grice, Grice was this close to starting fresh, and then he got scared. <laughs> and then he then he got afraid, and then he did not start fresh. He paid his bills. <laughs> you have to pay your bills to start fresh. But mm-hmm. yeah, only only you were the one who only you were able to pay your bills successfully. Yeah, somehow. Like just just by blagging it, right? Like just demand, demanding my way out of paying for stuff. Basically. <laughs> um so then we are at this uh this fun little point here. Um I think it, oh wait, we have to do we have to do the fun little point of the prologue. Somebody can recover a condition and say what happened uh in the past, right? Um, I'd, I'd say Arendelle might need that injury. Oh, wait, you can't remove No, it's injury. not that way. It recovers in the, uh, covers the proper order. No, but you can get rid of anger, uh, angry. And then you would become fresh, Christ. And then is... the first thing, the first thing you can do is try and treat I, that injury. I can't yeah. give it, I gave it last time, for one. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. He doesn't deserve it, but, but Arendelle should do it anyway. <laughs> okay, so, um... We went to town. We failed. <laughs> no, um, that's a little harsh on yourselves. So you I did not go to town. I, that is true. You did go I, to town. We went to town, and um, oh my god, what is there to what is there to say? Last um, time, De- on Deckard, uh, Deckard Deckard um, went to an armor smith. To when he went to the guild of. Guild of. He went to the guild hall, the armor. Yeah, the, the armor. Yeah. yeah, the armorers, and he uh, forged forged himself a very nice chainmail shirt. Uh, was the shirt? We never really specified what it was. Just chainmail armor. I think by definition, it's it's a shirt because there's a helmet is a different item. Yeah. Um, I think uh, that's that's what I imagine. Gilly did some uh, some nice haggling in town. And uh, 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 while Grice was sleeping in uh, quite a nice um, inn, I think was. <laughs> oh my God! I uh, um, most uh, two of us, I think Deckard and Arendelle stayed in the stables. Mm. Um, Arendelle and Gri- uh, Grice and and Gilly had slightly better accommodation in uh, in town. Um, Arendelle tried to uh, buy a bow, but um, somehow got, I don't know, he didn't really get the best deal. Um, He managed to get a bow, but also elves are not really acquainted with money that well. So he managed to, I don't know, he misplaced it or he gave, just gave everything to uh, to the seller. Like, there you go. uh, This should be enough. Um... Gilly bought most of um, the useful things for the party because um, I think Grice and Gilly both realized maybe we should get some torches and maybe we should get some rations while we're here. Might be wise 
when we're going back to a citadel. Um, I th well, then uh, Grice managed to, to pay off his uh, his debt collectors, but not everyone in the party was so uh, fortunate. Um, yeah. You mean literally um, everyone else? <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> it's not like one like... person was slouching here. It's literally everybody else. <laughs> you make it sound bad, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I think we. I think the rest of the party members made our GM. Well, I'm not gonna say happy, but we we gave him a new a, a new fun challenge to uh, to explore um, for this session. Look, That's there's true. no mistakes. Only happy little incidents. Uh, also, Gilly picked up another enemy, uh, a, a hobo in town. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, beggar, the beggar king, <laughs> or the beggar prince. I think is what I said, right? Well, is the beggar prince? All right. Okay. I I'm not sure if he's like a prince now. I'm not sure if we actually named him yet. I don't think anything. it's actually he's called the Thieves Guild or something yeah. like. You just no, I just, have, I just have him written down as the beggar. This was no. Yeah, this because... was different. Um, you did you did try to go to like some kind of like shady docks guy, right? Um, some like shady traveler person. Some one of you guys did for money. No. 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 No, I, I, I just didn't have room for the, for the, I didn't really, I, I didn't think I'd need a lantern, so I just gave it to oh. some guy on the street. Like, yeah. here, have a lantern. Yeah. That and was it. And oh. then you realized it was expensive, it, so you went back and just it's a, it. It's a Ford, but a, a, it's an Ob4 item, so I just took it back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, at some point last session, we realized, hey, we can sell some, some of the crap that we got as starter items. Yeah. So that's what we did. And then we realized we threw out our expensive mirrors. For instance, yeah. someone, but, uh, yeah. someone in in the other game uh, mentioned in, or maybe I think it was about someone in chat who I uh, was just just made the joke that starting characters just start with nothing but mirrors, and so when they go back yeah. to town, they well, sell all the mirrors. <laughs> yeah, where yeah. was Grogobon when we needed him? Come on! <laughs> I thought now, that was the one thing. of the funniest just walk things. In. How'd you get those mirrors? I'm a basilisk hunter. There you go. Mirror salespeople. <laughs> Yeah. Come from a long line of of mirrors. It's a, yeah. <laughs> a shiny personality. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. It took a lot of reflection. To take up and uh, adventuring. Yeah. Okay. It'll take a lot of time to reflect. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. No. So, yeah. That's right, good. About the is Eric. Is that good prologuing? That's pretty good prologuing. Of course. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are you going to recover for prologuing? Uh, well, there's only, the only thing I can recover is angry, I think, because uh, I can't do injured, or it has it, it goes in order anyway. Um, and uh, I think, uh, or it's that or nature, I guess. But uh, no. Um, yeah, I was wondering if you wanted to recover your nature. I was looking to no, see what your nature is at. But it's, it's three, oh, three five. five. So yeah. yeah so. Okay. Sure. All right. Um. So then now we're ready to play and pick up where we were left off. Um, you guys were getting ready to leave the town. Uh, leave this small little town of Oakhurst. And uh, there were four tax collector, or debt collector um, people looking to um, dissuade you. Five. I miscounted. There were five. And um, I, I, I think there were only two. They wanted to extract, uh, you know, they want to get their money out of you. And if they can't get their money, they're going to get it out of flesh. So, I, I, who has a pound of flesh to spare? Because uh, I, I don't really. This is this is all I natural, know, baby. Oh, I know a beggar down the street that we could ask. <laughs> at, so, at, um, how, I mean, how are they approaching? Are they approaching us like, hey, pay up now? Or are they approaching us cudgels in hand, basically? Yeah. You know, think of um, of think of uh. Guys wearing like dirty leather armor, um, like like the old like leather caps kind of stuff that like kind of like dinkle down a little bit. Uh, you know, one guy's got like a cudgel, another one's got like a pitchfork, uh, some other ones got some rope and like manacle kind of stuff. Um, and like you know, he's like smacking the the cudgel in his hands, right? Being like, um, thinking about leaving without paying your debts, eh? So, is there a fisticuffs conflict? Uh, no, it's, that would just be kill? fighting, but that would, you could use Brawler for that? Yeah, no, but there's no, brawler? there's no, 
I mean, isn't isn't brawling a, a fighting? It's just That's fight. Oh, yeah. but no, but isn't is brawling a fighter ability or something? Where did I read brawl, brawler and torchbearer? No, it's it's like brawling. Um, it lets you the treat fight. yourself as like it's like an armed conflict, but you're unarmed. Or is it just an ability uh, that fighters have that you can it's choose? Like a dwarf from the dwarf from yeah. the yeah, it's like a dwarven thing. Maybe maybe I just misread that part. But yeah, all right, yeah. No, but, but there's um, no this way. Just be a standard I, no. I, I I imagine this to be a conflict in which we fight and defeat them or knock them out. But I don't necessarily want to kill them. So. Uh, drive. This would be a drive-off uh, conflict. Is it level drive two, Olaf. So, like, they they let Grice go, don't they? Yeah. They, they, you know. Yeah, they're like, my business isn't with the with the sappy one. It's you four bums. And I think I think Grice takes like a few steps forward, and and he's sweating, right? Like he's <laughs> shivering and and nervous. Um obviously shaken from the, the night he had last night um but when he sees that when he sees that these thugs these ruffians aren't letting him aren't letting his adventuring companions like pass i think i think he turns around i think he like this is my belief right that we have to work together um so i think grice turns around and and says whatever business you Whatever business you have with them, you have with me also. You're God fearing, yes. I we have uh we carry respect for the immortal lords as much as the any other man. Then you'll know that we are what stands between Doom. These the Church of the World Tree is all that stands between eternal doom and us. Let these men go. They're with me. I will be I will be happy to oblige you, priest, but first and foremost, you gotta pay up. Wouldn't be a debt collector if I didn't collect debt. How about Even heroes gotta we... pay their debts. So, good sir, how about if we pay you in riddles? I know a great number of riddles. You could, <laughs> you could use those riddles. You could entertain people with them. Riddles are knowledge. Everyone knows this. <laughs> I could tell you so many, so many riddles you wouldn't know the answer to half of them. Maybe you don't even know the answer to one of them. I think he's calling you up. I, th I would I be. Can't answer his riddles. <laughs> that sounds so much fun that I want to do it. This <laughs> 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 is how you play Torchbearer. <laughs> yeah. Riddle conflict. You is that a thing? <laughs> yeah. You itching to, you itching to play with me in a duel of wits? Are you, boy? Yes. Prepare well, for five I, I, hours I mean, of be a duel because I'm gonna win anyway. But yes. Ah. Uh. It's obviously sort of riling him. So yes, do it. Let's do this. Go on. So <laughs> we can do. We can do. We can do a, a, a duel of wits. We can do. We can. We can tell each other riddles, and um, the winner, the winner, you. If you win, you know you get to keep all the riddles. Obviously, you know I mean there's no there's no losing for you because you. You expand your vast knowledge. He he looks and, at it looks at his friends like No, I think I think you got the stakes all wrong. And if we win, if we win, uh you, you let us off, right? And you, you still get the riddles and I'll even write some more down for you if you want, and then you you know it'll be fine. We don't have time for this, Gilly. <laughs> Come on, guys. We there's always time for a good riddle. Don't you think? What's your name, sir? De De Deckard just leans to grass going, no, 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 I want to see this. Let, it, let him go. Let him go. Uh, <laughs> they're they're go idiots. Like, I, I, I imagine you're doing this and, like, you're going to, like, shake your hand or whatever to him or something. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and he, yeah. He's not he's not touching your hand. He's like, no. Now, these are my terms. If we're going to have ourselves a riddle off. <laughs> you best me well and good. You best me and me mates. Fair enough. I will... 
when next time you come back, you better bring extra, uh, bring your 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 debt. No, no interest. Yeah, definitely. No, but, I mean when when I get back. But uh, he like so he much. like he like grabs his own clothes or whatever, and you know, it's like. But if I win, I break yes. your kneecaps. That'd be that'd be that'd be. Um, you have no idea. That, that's 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 this coming for you. No, just. Uh, well, I hope to meet that darkness in a warm bed, with a job. So. You're right. Out of character. What does a what does a, a riddling uh, a thing conflict actually entail? <laughs> <laughs> it involves riddling. Um, that's a good question. Uh, uh, probably. Let me look at. Let me go over to the conflict sheet because we have the, we have this stuff. There's there's actually conflict sheets. Um, but there's probably a trick or riddle, manipulator and lore and lore master. Yeah. Oh, be okay. Gonna be oh, okay. Moved right. Right. Oh, wait, never mind. So we're really gonna have a riddle off here. You're gonna riddle off with some debt collectors. <laughs> yeah, there's only one problem. The only problem that 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 I have as Gilly is you that you don't know Gilly, any riddles. Oh, I, yeah, no, he has riddling in his nature, so he can only use nature to use it because he doesn't have the riddling. That means no one else can help you though. Or master skill. So that means that whenever I do something, no one can help me. Yeah. Uh, that's problematic. I have. Arendelle has lore master though. Oh All wait, right, but. So, but the thing is, for attacking, you need manipulator. Um, really? <laughs> so I can't. I can't even do any of that. <laughs> hey, beginner's luck! Beginner's luck! Yeah. Well, this you know, is the point point where we actually I'm just run the... away. You challenge yeah, someone else. Either, run. either, either we do this, or some of some some of you guys, you know, one of you guys steps in and, and escalates this to something else. Because otherwise, Gilly's gonna follow follow through with this. Yeah, they have a riddle off. If if you guys can out riddle these guys, they'll let you go as as long as you come back. Like you know, and they'll they'll give you this pass. But if you ever return to town without the without paying your debts now, like you know, they'll no. Let's do it, Eric. Let's or 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 they'll just or we're gonna go right into a fight conflict right after this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, are we going to do a full on thing, or this will just be a versus test to see if we go into a conflict, like a link full test? Full on thing, full on thing. Full on. I want to do a full? I feel like the right stakes, now. the stakes here are, are are enough. Let's do a full on riddle conflict. All right. Well, All right. although Gilly's kneecaps are not that uh, that much of high stakes, I guess. Awesome. They're like they're quite low. Yeah, they're quite low to the. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. I'll take um, it. Let's make let's make sure let's look at the weapons you can equip for a riddle com uh, conflict. My book. <laughs> if you have an actual riddle, so you must tell yeah. a riddle. You can you can actually get earn a one a one die or one success. Okay, so I do. Um, okay. <laughs> oh yes, yes, I have one too. Okay. Um. Yeah. So let's let's start calculating our disposition then for this conflict, right? <laughs> All right, so we're, we're going to have a fucking riddle off. Welcome to Torchbearer, everybody. <laughs> so uh, this is essentially the closest you'll get to an old school rap battle. Yeah. So, um, can, I, can I do a John Harper and be like, the best riddle you've ever, ever heard, like the most eloquent, <laughs> say that. <laughs> no, that very explicit <laughs> must be an actual riddle. Okay. Um, One of the other things I can love, you know, you know, the other things to consider in doing this riddle thing is that Arendelle's injured, and if they're gonna beat us, he's gonna die. Right? Um, that's... it's only for physical tests, right? Yeah, well, not this riddle thing, but if we if we escalate it to something else, or if if oh yeah, yeah that then it's death for Arendelle, yeah. Yeah, what's right, at this position, what's uh, at stake uh, here is you guys you guys would be willing to go, but if you go back to town, um. You ever, if you ever come back here, you would have to absolutely still have to pay your debts, but they're going to give you like a pass now to go. Um, no, if you awesome. should, should this fail, um, they're going to escalate to a fight conflict. Uh, they don't want to kill you. They just want to beat you up. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cause they still want you to pay and you can't pay when you're dead. So, um, <laughs> all right. So just giving you a quick little, that's sort of like the quick little gist of what's going to go on here. Um, let's start calculating our dispositions um, for everyone in TV land. Uh, dispositions is sort of like your your hit points for your group for what's going on, and um, we're going to do a riddle conflict. So dispositions here are as manipulator, and you add it to your will. Um, yeah. Does anyone have manipulator? No, but I I I you know, is it weird for me not to be the team captain here? I don't know. It's, 
Uh, it's literally up to us to choose, as far as I okay. understand. All right. But that, um, it's we're all in this conflict. Like, if only like one or two of you, if only one of you has manipulator, it's probably better that the, someone without it does it, and we all help with Will. Yeah, I, I have nothing. I mean, no, I mean, no no that, that Gilly sort of took the lead in this anyway, right? Pretty much. All right, so I don't have manipulator, so I'm going to be rolling Will, will. at like double the uh, successes, right? That uh, works. Or like, yeah, uh, I really think, you know, I think I, looking back at it, if, if I could actually change this, I think I would have you have to uh, either manipulate or persuade them to make sure this conflict would actually happen. All right. Um, but for purposes of fun, I think this would be really fun. So I'm I'm letting it slide, and we're going to do this little conflict. Uh, but just in the future, I feel like that's the most fair way of, of you being like, I want to angle and like, re you know, I want to get under their skin and be and been like, no, it's oh, riddle, right? Uh, and and I, 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 we they'd could, be interested in doing it. And, and no, do no, 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 don't, no, don't, don't. It's we're we're already we're already at this point. And I want to keep going, but like just in the future. Yeah. Okay. So um, All right, yeah. So and let's you calculate have... dispositions here. Um, there's five guys for me. Um, uh, they can't even. Do they can they even use their stock? Their nature. Human? No, nothing really helps them. Humans, human? No, right? They should just be full on NPCs. Um. Oh, yeah. So I mean, well, okay. They just, I guess, you, you just use their will. Um. For, okay. Two. Plus four, six. I think. Yep. Wouldn't that be the same as when they don't have the skill? It's just that it's a beginner's luck thing for them as well. Yeah. Do you use? You don't use beginner's luck though to calculate disposition. You do if you don't have the skill. Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. But no, but that just doubles the ob then, right? That um, wouldn't make any sense for beginner's luck then to work that way. No, every Spec every two successes is one disposition. Right. Is this Sucker the first genius. riddle in the, the Battle of the Riddles? Does it make All any right. sense? I don't know. You just get up. I mean, right. that's... No, that's, they, a, that's a good question. Nature, right? Like, nature, it's normally nature for monsters, but these are NPCs, so they've got some yeah. stats, right? So the question here about... The question that we're trying to answer here is whether or not, um, if you're going into a conflict to calculate disposition and you do not have that skill, uh, do you just resort to beginner's luck style where two successes based on your base attribute? give you one success to your disposition or do you just roll your your base attribute or not even roll it and you just add your your will like it's you how would we did it before i think we've done it once 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 before but someone didn't have the skill um let's see you see anything yeah it looked like my guess looking at the way the back of the book is laid out um is human or, or like dwarf or elf NPCs you just treat them as if they were characters so they roll the skill or if not they roll beginner's luck um, oh okay that makes sense alright well they don't have manipulator so alright that's fine neither do I so I get two helping dice I think because I don't think Grice can help what why not because you're, af you're afraid right oh shoot yeah I am I can't help you I'm not yeah Christ doesn't right. know any riddles. Uh, they got two successes, oh, um, so that, that well, they had so that counts as one success, um, and we're gonna and I'm, go, and I'm going to add that on to the four people helping them, or no, I add that to the will, and then four other people. So their will is based will is two, so it's three, and then four other people, so it's seven. All right, I'm gonna I'm just gonna roll this. But wait, you, we can help just with uh, will, right? Because you yeah, didn't yeah. have the skill. Yeah, well, that's, that's two helping guys. Oh, yeah, two. Yeah. Okay. Um, can add anything to this. Oh. I really should make a. Uh, I'm gonna make a handout before next session for like a conflict sheet where we can drop the cards in it and like have sort of yeah. boxes make it look nice. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. All right. So our disposition is six. Okay. Not terrible. Okay, you want to engage Roger and the debt collectors uh, in a in a duel of wits uh, in a riddle off. Okay, uh, so we just did that. I have to, who's the captain for your conflict? Is it Gilly. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Gilly, let me throw you over some more cards. The meat and bones of the conflict. Am I, sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. We're gonna. Was a kobold. We're gonna have to uh, to divide. Sorry, the... I, I have a kobold trapped in my in my kitchen, so sometimes it just doesn't, you know. Okay, leave, leave me alone. We need We're to, have we need to... to distribute the disposition, so it's one to uh, all of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's the one? Then... Who's the? Uh, does anyone have lore, lore master or manipulator or, like, yeah. Yes, and the thing is, because you're injured, Arundel, you get a minus one die to basically anything, right? I have singing in my nature, though. You get minus one to nature. Minus <laughs> one. Indeed, the skills, nature, will, and health, but not singing, recover. Singing can be used to overcome anger or fear and to enchant the unwary with wonderment befuddling their wits. You could use it as helping in a maneuver or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds like it's something you could use for maneuvering. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's Although give Grice. Also, also, you can I use Lormon. I don't care. My, my instinct here would be to give Grice and Arundel the other points of this of of. Uh, it makes sense. Because mine, I, I have riddling in my I have riddling in my nature, but my nature is only two, so it's not that good, not that great. All right, so you're, you. well, you're the conflict captain. Okay, so now now what we're doing is we're distributing our conflict hit points, our disposition to our, our characters. Um, so it's seven. Uh, these guys got five. So that just means uh, three people will have two. And then one, or two people have two, and then that's it. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, obviously, so... the leader will have two, Roger. Um, so I'm going to do this. Two, two, one, one, one. Roger the Riddler. But if the leader has, if our leader has, oh no, your leader has to. Sorry. And I'll, I'll make, I'll, I'll just put a uh, lowercase r in front of it to represent that's the captain, Roger. How would you want? How, how do we want to do this? I maneuver first, maybe. If they attack, then it's a uh, versus test, so that's in our favor. If we win, they lose dice on their next one, so we do maneuver. Before attack. you, before you decide what things you have to do, uh, like what terms of, in terms of what um, cards you play, I have to put out my cards first. All right. Yeah. In that case, we're gonna go defend, defend, and. Uh, let's do run away. I know it's not a card, but I'm sure we can draw something in the meantime. So we're stand and draw for like. We're gonna. <laughs> Let's top deck win. Charizard. Wait. Um, I want the second guy to be called David. So we have R two D two. Actually, I have Lore Master three. I just noticed. Hmm. Holy cow! <laughs> Why aren't you? What? Okay. Yeah, but I can't attack with that. That's defend and what is it? No maneuver and feint or something. Yeah, but maneuver would be amazing. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, Let's put down mine. Yeah. Okay. So I think maneuver as the first action makes makes a lot of sense. We'd, we'd expect them to attack, right? Is there? I think. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Thanks. No. Let's do. Let's have uh, Arundel do a maneuver, mm -hmm. uh, okay. and then attack. Maybe. Yeah. And while you're doing that. Um, I'm just going to explain to the audience real quick. You guys have never seen a conflict set up and done in Mouse Guard or Torchbearer. What's going on is that there are four different types of actions that we can do regardless of the conflict. So um, there's a one-size-fits-all mechanism for resolving complex issues in Torchbearer and Mouse Guard. Uh, be it it's like fighting or riddling, it's the same uh, principles are behind it. Uh, what's going to... It just... How, the, the execution of skills is what changes and what's different. Uh, so what we're doing here, and what what in each conflict, is that there are four different types of actions you can take in any um, particular move. You can take either the attack, which is like I'm going after the in the most direct way possible my objective. Um, so that could be like if I'm running away, like a flea conflict. An attack in a flea conflict is I'm fucking sprinting away from you, right? I'm just going to outrun you. Uh, an attack in a, in a in a fighting conflict would just be like I'm I'm fucking going for the guy uh, with sword drawn, you know. Um, so that's, that's what an attack is. A defense, uh, a defend is, is the opposite of that. Um, it's a way to shore up something that you're doing. Um, then there's maneuver. 
Uh, maneuver is sort of like trying to position yourself to get a better advantage. Um, so it basically helps set up the next move that you're going to do. This would be an example of like shooting a bow or like like using making like pinning someone down so you can other people can go in and, and get them. Uh, then lastly would be faint and faint is sort of like whenever you want to use like a trick or a disguise or some kind of like um, you know uh, something high risk high reward style uh, maneuver um, that you want to do. I know I just use maneuver when maneuver isn't type of move, but just giving you an idea. So those are like the four different things you can do. Um, and what we're going to do is each time you resolve, uh, and you, you're going to choose three. Uh, you can pick the same one for each of each round of this conflict if you wanted to. But once you choose three um, out of that pool of four moves, um, you're going to put uh, the GM puts them down, and then you guys as players are going to discuss which ones you want to put down, and then we're going to flip them up one at a time. And then you know, attack versus maneuver has a resolution. Uh, defend versus defend has a resolution. Attack versus attack has a resolution, etc. Um, and we're just going to resolve what that looks like fictionally, and we're going to keep playing until we one of us runs out of disposition. So um, that's the that's the quick and dirty way of describing kind of what's going on here. So it's, it's like a very complex form of uh, rock paper scissors. All right. So what we established now is Arundel does the maneuver first because he has high lore master, and we have a decent shot at getting extra dice for the second one and maybe knocking some dice off of their action. The second action would be an attack, and I'm not sure whether Grice or Gilly should take it. Um, we could have Grice have benefit from the dice, but we could also have Gilly just benefit from them, and then Grice do the normal roll. Yeah, I think... I think that makes most sense. I don't think it would be Grice. Like, I don't think Grice is going to chime in at this point. Like, he, his attitude to this was, like, we don't have time. So... All right, so... You want to opt out and have Deckard do the attack then yeah. in the final action? Swap, swap Grice out. Like maybe he comes right. in in the second round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. No skill. No skill really. um, I don't have the skill either. Okay. All right. We're done. Okay. All right. Are we so, ready to flip over the first ones? Yes. Yeah. Maneuver. Maneuver. All right, so we're both going to be trying to jockey for some good positions here for our next one. So this is going to be independent. Um, okay. So um, what does a maneuver in a lore in a riddle conflict look like? Uh, well, it's it looks like we're probably trying to throw each other off our game before we like do our first... Smack talk? <laughs> yeah, right? I feel like that's probably what, think, uh, what maneuvering in a riddle conflict is, right? Like, oh, it's like, uh, you know, I, I know... Pff, me. Me nanny grew like uh, raised me on riddles, right? The, the thing is that it is when I was your height. Master. When I was your height, halfling, like I was, I was hearing riddles every day. <laughs> but like, the thing is, it's based, right it's based on, right. it's based on lore master, though. So it doesn't have to be just um, uh, stuff like that. Well, my guys, these are thugs, so that's what they are. No, fair enough. What's your maneuver? Um. I am actually. Uh, Arendelle uh, says, t tells them, "Wow, human. They're humans, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my God, you humans! You don't. I'm sure you don't know even the simplest riddles. You just, you're just idiots. You probably can't. Don't won't even know what what's brown and sticky. It's smelly. What, what is brown and what? Yeah, everyone's looking. What's <laughs> brown? Is that even a riddle? That's not a riddle. <laughs> What is brown and sticky? Um, okay, that's not might actually. That's not actually four successes. Are you idiots? Uh, you that's actually to... one fewer success than wait, that. Wait, I I know this one. Okay. <laughs> um, wait. Uh, so this is um, lore master. Yeah. Let me just. So I got three one. successes because I have to count two of the first two together um, as one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Why? Uh, because he's beginner's yeah. luck. But doesn't help. You factor in help as well, right? Yeah. Um, can I so, so half it? You half it before uh, after help. So, oh, yeah. so so then it's just two successes, right? Uh, so I have minus one from injured. Um, can I get one for the act for the riddle? For it's oh. a riddle. It's, it's a the riddle. best riddle ever. <laughs> What's brown and sticky, Eric? No, because <laughs> oh, because you're actually attacking with a riddle. Yeah, um, but you, but you didn't say it was a, but. 
Is it a stick? Counts. I thought, I mean, yeah. I'm sure if it counts towards uh, it doesn't towards it help. Maneuver. It doesn't well, help towards maneuvering. You can maneuvering. use a spear for maneuvering, right? Oh, That's you, you have a material clue for for uh, getting no. extra dice. A material. Yeah. You must have a material clue. I don't know what a material clue is for. Uh, what is it? What is a material clue? Well, in this case, it would be a bag of dog poo. Well, wouldn't it be like there are four objects in this room? I will <laughs> describe a riddle, and then you have to go like, oh, is the sand timer? Is it the is it the pool of water? That that is all fair enough. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, uh, anyone want to help? Yes, I'll help you with. Uh... Oh wait, I can't. I think. Uh, no, you Why use the skill, help? right? If you, if you use law master, then you can help with. Uh, scholar. Oh, it's, it's scholar. Is that the only thing you can help with? Uh, it, behind it says will, but that's... that's there's, a, there's another handout I, that you guys should have access to. I can't drag it actually into handouts, but um, that's, the that's at, actually the one that has help and beginner's luck will. listed on it. Yeah, so... Mm, nope. I, I don't think I can. Uh, I mean, can I help with nature? I mean, riddling is in my nature. Yeah, you can help with your nature. All right. Yes. Then I'll definitely help with that. Yeah. If you don't, um, if you don't have law master, that's the perfect opportunity to use your nature. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Can't help. I think I think Grice is like he's like uh, confused by this. <laughs> he's like, is this this isn't even a riddle. I know this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like he falls, he falls yeah. for your maneuver as much as the yeah. others. Right. <laughs> and Deckard? Uh, Deckard's just riled up. He's just he's just standing there. You know, it's going to be brown and sticky. Your I really, brown. I actually really like the idea right now that when you ask that what's brown and sticky, like this conversation starts devolving into the uh, like epistemological what is a actually a riddle or not <laughs> not necessarily the answer to the thing but like no no that's just a trick that's not a riddle like it's like that's not a, a riddle requires three things you know and like uh, you know like, he's like no it doesn't why like no my favorite riddle is this one like this doesn't need it doesn't follow those rules you know it's very like non-conventional or whatever uh you and know then, and like so like they're like debating back and forth of what the nature of a riddle might be Two well, people splitting off, going, okay, let's uh, set down some ground rules for this conflict. Yeah. We all agree, both sides. Right, that's, that's some elven trickery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But while they're ha discussing this, can I start singing, what is brown and sticky? What is brown and sticky? To just um, confuse them even more so I can um, spend a persona and use my nature? Uh, because help? singing is yeah. my nature? To, uh, yeah. Uh, it does say it's used for befuddling wit, right? Yeah. Yeah, this could be kind of distracting, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, well, that's the point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that's that's a really we uh, a <laughs> weird... Cute... No, I mean, like, that's in the rules, but that's just, like, a very niche scenario that, that would come in, so I'm, I'm, I'm for it. Well, it's mo it goes for most of the most of these. Episodes. Oh, Grover's here, everybody. What's up, Grover in chat? Oh, How's it going? Oh, okay, so here we go. Let's see. Um, obstacle? Is there an obstacle? Uh, no, this is an independent test. This Our riddling is independent because we're both maneuvering. So did you get the same result as I did? I have two. Yeah, I got... Wow. All right. That's rough. Three ones. Sorry. Yep. Okay, so we both uh, end up getting a little bit of what we want from a, a maneuver. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over to the conflict sheet. When we maneuver, uh, we got... We each earned a margin of success of two. So, um, yeah. So we can each either gain impede or gain position. Um, we're going for gain position. I was going to use gain position as well. I think. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So then, for our next action, we'll do uh, gain position. Yes. So that's what we're going to spend our maneuvers on, which makes sense. Yeah, I yeah. think. Okay, so I really think that our maneuvers were trying to figure out and be like, would you just stop singing? We're, we're discussing the rules of of how the, of this engagement. Brown and sticky. <laughs> Maybe I should just bust your kneecaps right now. Um, we're trying to be civil about this. This is not being civil. Um, so okay. Um, we're ready to go for our next round. So yeah. uh. 
uh, Elan, uh, we both got uh, margins of success of two, and so we're each going to gain the extra two dice to the next one. So you get, you did attack, I did attack. <laughs> uh, pretty pretty standard maneuver attack. Um, so we're each going to earn ourselves two extra dice on this test, though. All right. um, they're so going to attack. They're going to attack. Oh, so this is this is question. um this guy's name's Thomas, and uh, Thomas is going to attack. Uh, he's got a riddle for you. It's like. All right, and this one, this one's my favorite. What tastes better than it smells? Yes. Uh, oh, I know that one. <laughs> right. And Gilly just, uh, I think he retorts, right? Just instantly. He's like, yeah. what's in seasons, seconds, centuries, and minutes, but not in decades, years, or days? Hmm. Well, you'll have to say that again. <laughs> 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 Not for us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not can, can you perhaps slow it down? It's kind of hard to hear you from from down there. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Let's just roll the dice, Eric. I, I'm not. I'm. Yeah. I, I was like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Aaron Arundel um, whispers uh, into uh, Gilly's ears. It's a tongue. It's a tongue. I think Dick is just standing by the side uh, going. And, uh, Gilly, yeah, oh, sorry, um, um, Arendelle uses. Uh, again. He uses Elven lore oh, so me... to. Um, is Elven lore wise to uh, to help uh, with that? Because uh, of course he knows. As an I don't know if the Elven lore works for that. No. Uh, Elven lore is more like about ancient civilizations and stories and myths and legends. Oh. Not so much oh. helping you out with like shitty human riddles. <laughs> See, halfling lore. <laughs> Oh, okay, then, I'm sorry. Okay. I uh, you could then, I could be wrong, but like I feel like that's what Elven lore is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be it's supposed to chronicle that you guys are an immortal yeah. race and been around since the dawn of civilization, and you know a thing or two about forgotten civilizations. Now, and Elven poetry wise, wise, Elf from Nantucket. Elven poetry wise <laughs> then, might work. Okay, then Arendelle is just going to keep being annoying. Brown and sticky, brown and sticky. Come on, guys, you still don't know. No. No, Mosquito, no, 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 no. Yes. All right, Got I him. do that, and then I roll the dice. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I gotta, I'm I gotta gonna, roll mine. Do, all right, yeah. I'm going to do my uh, beginner's luck manipulator test. Um, who helps? So, Arendelle helps. That's one. And you can just help with will, so that's good. Uh, this is a beginner's, tuck, uh, beginner's luck manipulator, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm the same so thing. So, we can help with will? Yeah. I think I think Grice um, like starts to speak, and he's just like he's just flashes back to to visions from his dreams, oh. and, and and like he cowers for a moment, like you see him visibly shaken, um, and he doesn't get the words out. Yeah. Anyway, Grice, what about you, Deckard? I. It would be no. It would oh, be so out of character to for Decker to help. It it would make no sense. Girl just standing by the side, going so so with the flailing and the murdering. When what is? Come on, people! All right, so you're not helping. All right. No, it's is this just standing there, going, "Do we kill now? Come on!" All right, so that's uh, that's three so, dice, and I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna use one, my persona to uh, to add my nature to this, and my nature is riddling, of course. So I actually only got two successes because it's beginner's luck. And the plus two from yeah, the but the, yeah. I add the plus plus two to to the help and not to the thing after the the help, right? Right, because if I'm right now, it's a beginner's luck test. No, so you add it. You add the the two dice as in in the second part about anyone helping you plus traits and all that kind of so stuff. That's, four yeah, that's where you add the two extra dice. And the two extra dice. All right. Um, I just um, realized. Okay, and I just realized actually he got uh, three successes because he attacked. With a riddle, and a riddle like gives you one additional die and one success, right? Or is it, or is it one? Is it one or the other? It's the same as a two-handed weapon in, in a fight conflict. If that helps anybody, do you know? Well, I forgot to add that one. I don't know. Okay, I'll don't no worries. I'll look it up while we're doing that. Right. So I got the help from Arundel, and then I got the additional die, probably for the riddle. My guess is one die. Eric. Um, unless it's unless really you, good. Unless no, it, it has it has plus one die, comma plus one success for a riddle. 
Oh yeah. As a, as the what the weapon, right? Right. So that, th mm -hmm. does that mean that you just get one die, and if you have a success, is that is it is that an and or an both. or conflict? I think so yeah. I guess it's both. Okay, yeah. it's both then. Five. All right, cool. All right, so I've got two and then uh, four and ob zero. All right, fingers crossed, guys. Here we go. Five successes. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Um. Yeah. yeah. Can and I, um, uh, I got three successes, so. All right. So yeah. Can I I'd like to. Uh, no wait. No, never mind. Gilly is out of the uh, conflict then. Okay. And I think. Um, I think Deckard is out of the conflict. <laughs> and then uh, I think okay. uh, it doesn't really matter. I think uh, Grice takes the other one. Or. All right. So I think so I think is... Thomas. Yeah, I think I think the guy who just went was like, "Shit, fucking got me." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Like I wasn't super clear on how many points of disposition I had, so I didn't write down anything. You had you had two. I had two, so I still uh, have yeah. one left. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't write down PC's disposition. The, the reason I'm giving what's what's the, the current disposition you, breakdown for everybody? So, so we have two for Abigail, one for Grice. Yeah. yeah, but the breakdown, so that's, yeah. I, I guess, you know, Gilly, just when Gilly goes, you know, sort of is kind of out of the conflict, Decker just decide going, what the hell is uh, going on should, here? Shouldn't Grice have one? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, Arendelle has two. Yeah, because you guys just lost three from that last conflict. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, okay. um, now that Decker's out, uh, out of the fight, that means that Grice has to pick up this attack. All right, go, Grice. Oh shit! I did a faint. Oh, you did bad. <laughs> I did real bad. I fucked nice. up, guys. Oh, okay. Uh, so an attack versus a faint. Faint loses. Um, so this is this is to you guys. I think Grice Grice strides forward and he's like, "Shut up, shut up, all of you. I've had enough. You want to hear a riddle? When did I get this?" And he holds up. He takes off the ring from his finger that is his parents. Like it's the last thing he has left of his of his parents. Um, it's his keepsake, this ironwood ring. And he throws it down on the ground. You want interest? Fucking take that. <clears throat> if you want a riddle, I remember Thornton Black Tongue. You know the Black Tongue. He told me one. You'll never get it. I. You do not cut me. You do not burn me. Yet I wear rings for every year I'm, I am alive. What am I? Um, who's helping? Yeah. <laughs> and they... help. Can we still? I've, we're out, right? We can't help, right? Yeah. If so, um, no, I got this one. I got this one. I've heard of it. Ah, uh, it's a. Uh... Oh shit! No, no, it's on the tip of my tongue. I got it. I got it. You know, uh, as you guys are going, um, right? So also, I, I hope my I hope my horrible Cockney accent isn't insulting uh, to you guys. So right. Yeah, yeah, leads, uh, leads over no, to Gilly. Goes, it's the high priest of of Ardell, isn't it? That, that's it, right? No, 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 no. It's something <laughs> else. I, I wait. His cousin. Yes. Um, <laughs> Um, can, what can um, what can I help manipulate it with? What skills? Hmm, why don't we check that useful handout? Oh, manipulator sorry, can be helped with persuader or manipulator. Oh well, I happen to have persuader. I think. Uh, do I? I do. Um, I think uh, Arundel um, suddenly stops saying so. So answer him and An answer the cleric. Come on. Yes, sir, you guys are so smart. Answer him. All right. So I'm marking down one help, Eric. Do I have any other modifiers? Like I told a riddle. Um Yeah. No, you are equipped you equipped yourself a riddle, I so equipped. like you would get you get the die. Cool. So I get two help dice. Uh I don't think I can do anything more by that. I think that's that's just how it is. Mm. 
yeah, I, I can't even think of a way to use a trait against myself. I probably shouldn't anyway, but there we go. Roll in it. And it is independent. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, you've only got two points of disposition, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You also have gotten an additional uh, success because of the riddle. Oh right. So three anyway. Wow. So yeah, no, you would you okay, so then you would you knock out the deck collectors. Um We're done here, I think. He's like, oh, fuck, I don't got it. Ah shit. It's the world tree. I knew I should have went to school. I should have gone. Alright. I'm a Take the ring. We're square for the dead. I'm, I'm pushing my luck here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, he's no. This is a solid compromise. Um, this would definitely be um. He keeps his he keeps his hand out for a little bit more. Um, I think I think that would be fair. So he's, you're gonna give over your keepsake. I'm gonna give over the last token I have. Yeah. Of my parents. Um, yeah, we're gonna actually... need. Beautiful ironwood ring. Um, yeah, and he's going to need he's going to need a little bit more, uh, not enough to cover all your guys' debts, of course, but like enough that he'll let you guys go for now. And right. this, that'd that be a solid compromise. Interest? No. Um, look, look, Phyllis, I I know that you guys have. I mean, I can see that you love your leather. Uh, I'm I'm sure you hang out in leather bars all you like. I I have this wonderful leather armor here, actually. I mean. Look at this. This is some quality stuff. Come on. What's what's the what's the compromise? You have to offer it to us. That's yeah. The way it works. Okay. So the, um so the compromise yeah, would be a uh, two dice worth of cash resource. You have to hit fork over. Okay. So we've got one. Yeah. Which is the uh, leather armor is actually one. Have is done it, that next to the ring? Is it? I thought leather armor is is. is uh, too cheap enough to use. Uh, let me check. It's uh, it's three, not four, so it's not enough, I think. If I remember yeah. correctly, I think you're right, because I think in town it's got to be it's it starts at ob four to get dice. Yeah. Mm. All right, yeah. Gilly. Gilly steps up. And he's uh, he looks he looks the uh, what's his name, like the leader. Ronald, Richard. Yeah, if an object is worth odd three resources or less, it has no sale value. Yeah. All right. Gilly, Gilly holds out his lantern. A brown and, and sticky, sticky solid compromise. The, gla oh. the guys, the guy in square in the eyes. He says, "I went through a lot of trouble for this lantern. You better not break it." <laughs> I, I hand it. I hand it to him. I also give him the flask of lantern oil. He says, "You might as well." You know, use it to, I don't know, light your way when you extort other people. Dick. Your name is Richard, right? Dick? And then I just handed <laughs> to him. Not the light. Let's fight them over the light. Not, we need the light. Okay. Uh, all right. Can you accept that compromise? Yeah. Wait, are we going to accept that compromise? Uh, yeah. Do you I, want I'm to not... accept that? Up to us, people. So, but what's the what's the consequence of not accepting? Well, Eric has to adjust terms. Like we did, we did, we've done more than two dice worth of cash. Are we happy with that team? I, I'm not happy with the lantern being gone because that I, is no, it's, well, it's, uh, it's, it's a real thing compromise. Is, the thing is with the lantern, I only had one flask of oil left. I still have four torches. Christ has a lot of torches as well. I think. Could always scout, okay. yeah. Five, we, I mean, we, we should. Fine. Yeah. I think we're fine. We can use okay. the map to to sort of teleport down to where we were to well, actually descend. I think I think the compromise. Another, another okay. Uh, here's a writer to the compromise too, is that for the remainder of this town, you won't go into debt again. How about that? Or or there won't be another chance. It will just be trade to fighting. I think we're done with town, though, aren't we? I know. Yeah, well, we today we're right. today, but like if you ever would return to Oakhurst. You would know, like, if you would ever fail, you would be arrested, like your resource tests and stuff, right? Oh, I see. Right. So we we definitely have the to promise. Yeah, you're basically no. um 
what's the term there's no line of credit extended yeah to us. exactly gotta have, um, gotta have them yeah what's it you're on probation like financial probation essentially right, right. it's like my credit rating yeah <laughs> oh god <laughs> but yeah right so i think we have a name for our group of adventurers chapter 13 yeah. so so does that, that does that mean i keep the lantern or do i still no you gave up the lantern no the lantern's fucking over all right okay no Okay. It'll be fine, guys. Oh, uh, leaving town table, apparently? Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that, and then we'll go to break. Okay? Sweet. Okay. Can we all just get along? No. <laughs> Stop getting along. Just... Uh... Well, we didn't get any versus tests, so there's no skills you can actually advance, right? Um, we get free refills. Mm, yep, fill up your water. Yes. That doesn't sound good. Oh, All right. What? Oh god. Oh mm -hmm. god. Okay. Um. So as the as the uh debt keepers kind of disperse and like tip their their cap to you, they're like, uh, be mindful of the graveyard. Uh, there's been ghouls, as of late, hanging out. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Christ, it's just like not impressed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Fuck off. <laughs> Have a good day. And and they, they get out of your way. Alright. Uh break time, guys. Uh let's we'll be back in five minutes.